the Hubble Space Teleco Telescope even, has been placed in safe mode because it's lost one of the gyroscopes needed to point the spacecraft. Hubble had been operating with four of its six gyroscopes when one failed. Controllers tried to switch on a backup but found that was malfunctioning too. For the past 34 years, the Hubble Space Telescope has been gazing into the depths of the cosmos, revealing wonders that were once confined to theory or completely unknown. Originally designed to observe relatively close celestial objects and provide clearer views of familiar galaxies, nebulae, and stars, Hubble has, almost inadvertently, been witnessing something far more profound, something it was never specifically engineered to see. Over the decades, Hubble's relentless eye has pierced further into the past of the universe than ever imagined, capturing light from galaxies and phenomena that date back to just a few hundred million years after the Big Bang. What it has been seeing, what it has been quietly documenting, is the formative structure of the early universe, a time when the first stars, galaxies, and cosmic structures were assembling. This event, this prolonged glimpse into cosmic infancy, has become one of the most extraordinary unintended achievements in astronomical history. Before we start, hit the like and subscribe buttons for more exclusive news. The telescope's mission was crafted with a particular range of vision and objectives in mind. When it launched in 1990, its creators were focused on resolving the hazy views from Earth-bound telescopes, plagued by atmospheric interference. It was built to answer major questions about the expansion of the universe, the life cycle of stars, and the mysteries surrounding dark matter. No one anticipated the extent to which Hubble would push beyond those goals. Thanks to a combination of technological fortitude, clever observational strategies, and a bit of serendipity, it began seeing light that had traveled across the universe for billions of years, light emitted from the first generation of stars and galaxies, the very building blocks of everything that followed. This unexpected sightline into the ancient universe became possible due to a phenomenon known as redshift. As the universe expands, light from distant galaxies is stretched into longer wavelengths, moving it into the infrared portion of the spectrum. While Hubble wasn't optimized for infrared observation, unlike its successor, the James Webb Space Telescope, it still managed to catch enough of this stretched light to reveal the outlines of those distant galaxies. By patiently gathering photons over hundreds of hours of exposure time, Hubble delivered images of galaxies that formed only 300 to 500 million years after the Big Bang. That's just a fraction of the universe's total age, which stands at approximately 13.8 billion years. The telescope, peering farther back in time than anyone expected, captured not only ancient starlight, but also a detailed chronicle of the universe's early structure. The implications of this are enormous. By viewing these early galaxies, Hubble has allowed astronomers to observe what the universe looked like in its adolescence, when matter was first clumping together, stars were igniting, and the cosmos was transitioning from darkness to light. This early period, known as the Epoch of Reionization, marked the end of the so-called Cosmic Dark Ages, a time when the universe was filled with neutral hydrogen and completely dark due to the lack of stars or galaxies. Once those first stars ignited, they began to ionize the surrounding hydrogen gas, turning the universe transparent and letting light travel freely. Hubble's ability to observe this transition, even imperfectly, offered humanity its first real glimpse into one of the most transformative periods in cosmic history. These observations weren't merely photographic triumphs, they transformed theoretical astrophysics into a data-rich science. Before Hubble, the early universe was a realm dominated by models and equations, largely inaccessible to direct observation. But with every faint galaxy it captured at the edge of visibility, Hubble chipped away at the boundaries of ignorance. These ancient galaxies were smaller, less structured, and more chaotic than their modern counterparts. Yet they revealed patterns, repeating motifs in how stars formed, how gravity sculpted matter, and how complexity arose from simplicity. Hubble showed that even in those early moments, the universe was already rich with dynamics. Merging galaxies, energetic starbursts, and nascent black holes pulling material into accretion disks of unimaginable force. Among the most riveting revelations was the discovery of surprisingly mature galaxies existing far earlier than expected. 
Standard models had predicted that complex, well-structured galaxies, especially those with spirals or significant mass, should take billions of years to form. Yet Hubble images found disk-like galaxies that seemed to defy those expectations, existing less than a billion years after the Big Bang. This forced a revision in cosmological timelines and sparked new theories about how quickly matter could organize under the influence of gravity and dark matter. The telescope didn't just see into the early universe, it unsettled long-held assumptions about how that universe evolved. Even more astonishing was the discovery of supermassive black holes in these early galaxies. Black holes of such enormous mass were never expected to form so quickly. Their presence meant that the processes driving black hole growth, either through rapid accretion or direct collapse from massive gas clouds, were far more efficient in the early universe than previously imagined. Hubble's detection stirred vigorous debates, prompting new questions about the feedback loops between galaxy formation and black hole development. Did these black holes help shape their host galaxies, or did the galaxies nurture the growth of the black holes? These are the kinds of questions that would have been entirely speculative without Hubble's input. The telescope also unveiled a universe teeming with diversity. The Hubble Ultra Deep Field image, perhaps its most iconic capture, was composed of nearly 800 exposures taken over 11.3 days. Hubble detected over 10,000 galaxies, some were as old as 13 billion years. That single image encapsulated a key revelation. The early universe wasn't sparsely populated or dormant, it was crowded, active, and frenetically creative. Stars were forming at staggering rates, galaxies were colliding and evolving rapidly, and structures on scales previously unimaginable were taking shape. The shock of this cosmic density forced scientists to revisit fundamental ideas about the universe's first billion years. It also illuminated the complexity of cosmic evolution. Galaxies did not evolve in isolation. They interacted, merged, and influenced one another through gravitational tugs and bursts of energy. Hubble in seeing what it was never meant to see, charted the course of galactic adolescence with a clarity that no one anticipated. Its observations helped construct the cosmic timeline, anchoring models of development with direct evidence and measurable light. Furthermore, Hubble's ability to peer so far into the past also brought to light a crucial and unsolved mystery, the missing galaxies problem. Predictions based on early cosmic conditions suggested that far more small galaxies should exist than have been observed. While Hubble did uncover thousands, the discrepancy remains, and it's one of the clues suggesting the influence of dark matter and dark energy in structuring the cosmos. Hubble may not have directly seen dark matter or dark energy, but the patterns, absences, and anomalies in its images whispered their presence. One of the most profound impacts of this unintended vision has been on human perspective. It's one thing to theorize about a young universe teeming with newborn galaxies, it's another entirely to see them. Hubble transformed the abstract into the visible, the theoretical into the tangible. Its images are not only scientific data, they're a kind of cosmic archaeology, an excavation of the universe's childhood. They reveal not just how far we've come in understanding the cosmos, but also how much there is left to uncover. Every faint smudge of light captured from that early era is a message sent billions of years ago, only now arriving. Hubble became a time machine not through intention, but through perseverance and ingenuity. Its long view has also fundamentally influenced the design of next-generation telescopes. What Hubble saw, what it was never built to detect, set the stage for missions like the James Webb Space Telescope, which was engineered to probe even further into the infrared and reach even earlier epochs. Webb may now be taking the baton, but Hubble's trailblazing has already reshaped astronomy. Its revelations demanded better tools, deeper observations, and more ambitious questions. Without those deep field images, without the bold forays into the cosmic past, the appetite for peering beyond the observable horizon may never have reached such fervent heights. This extended glimpse into the universe's infancy also reshaped the search for life in habitable worlds. Understanding how galaxies formed and evolved, how stars of different masses and compositions came into being, and how metals, elements heavier than hydrogen and helium, were spread throughout the cosmos, all influence models of planetary formation and habitability. Hubble's observations of early galaxies provide critical insights into when and how the first potentially life-bearing planets might have emerged. If planets capable of supporting life could exist in those ancient galaxies, 
then the timeline for life's potential emergence in the universe stretches back far further than previously considered. If you liked this video, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel. Also, could you leave your comments below and tell us, what are your thoughts on Hubble seeing the unexpected for 34 years? What's next? We want to hear from you. Thank you for watching and see you next time.